Today, we are going to be learning about Zen Tangles. Um, some of my artists here at school have already done some artwork that seems a little bit Zen Tangle-ish, I guess you could say. Um, but Zen Tangles are a relaxing, fun way to draw patterns and designs within a closed shape or a contained space. So our contained space is actually going to be an outline of our hands. Um, so I've noticed that a lot of my artists like to trace their hands for fun. My own children love to do it at home. I'm going to show you how to properly trace your hand and how we can fill it with these beautiful patterns and zentangles and have a fun, relaxing time doing it. So let's get started. All right, the first thing that we need to do is get a clean sheet of paper, turn it the tall way, and trace around our hands. Um, as you can tell here, this is not the proper way to do it. You need to place your hand on your paper, keep it still, turn your pencil up, where it's touching your hand every single moment that it's marking on the paper. That's gonna give you a true representation of your hand. So now that I have my outline, I'm just gonna trace over it with something of choice, pen, marker, Sharpie, anything that's a little bit darker. You could do this whole project in pencil if you like. Whatever you have at your house, whatever you have that in the area that you're working with, go for it, you can use anything. I like to use a black marker or pen of some sort just because it's dark and bold and I like how the black and the white contrast with each other. So now I'm just sectioning off the hand and you can do this any way that you want. I recommend not dividing it into too many shapes but you want to have at least 10 different spaces on your hand and arm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some of these zentangles and I'm going to fill in different pieces of my hand and you can do any kinds of patterns that you want. The difference in zentangles and just mindless doodling is that with zentangles you're actually trying to think about where you place everything. You're actually trying to create a design that flows, a pattern. You're being more mindful of what you're doing rather than just doodling. So here I'm spacing my dots out. I'm trying to do um, I'm trying to do the cadence pattern. I'm spacing my dots out evenly and now I'm rolling over one and under the other and by the time that I get done mindfully thinking about the lines that I'm making on my paper I'm gonna have a really cool zentangle or pattern um, it already looks cool with just the pieces that are going across the hand and now I'm gonna go vertically with those lines and you can see now it almost looks like ribbons going over and under each other and feel free to pause the video, check out what I'm doing, um, rewind, do whatever you want to to figure out how to do certain patterns. You can also go online and just look up Zentangles and you will find all kinds of fun patterns that people have made. The one that I'm doing now is called Black Eyed Peas and little black eyed peas, if you've ever eaten them before, they look like they have a little black dot on them. So first I make the pea shape and then I am coming back in with the black dots. And that is a very simple zentangle pattern. The sheet on the left of my screen is just a lines and pattern sheet that I made up a while back. Um, it does have some simpler patterns on it that you could use for zentangles. Now I'm doing a zentangle called the fans. And I'm just making these little fan shapes. They almost look like nacho chips. And then I'll come back in and add a few more details there. So just pay attention to the zentangles and enjoy watching me do this. And then I would love for you to send me a picture of your artwork as well. Also, after I get done with my zentangles, you're gonna see, you're gonna see me do some shading with a pencil at the end. The shading is just to make your hand look a little bit more three dimensional. And you'll see how I do that. I only put the shadow on the right, but just pay close attention and you'll know exactly what to do. Have fun.